Good evening, sir. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. Do you need my help? Yes, please. Would you be kind enough to tell me what the time is? That's all you need to know. Well, is it not important to know? As important as where you are? Or who you are? I suppose you're right. And who are you then, sir? I am Agamemnon Baker. Like my brother, I think we need to leave this city immediately. And my brother and I rarely agree on anything. May I ask why you've not gone already, if you're so exasperated by this long wait? I believe fear is holding us back. My brother would have said it's laziness, but it's just because he's prouder than I am. May I ask what you're doing outside at this hour of night? I don't know. You should ask my brother instead. It was his idea in the first place. You must have your own ideas. From what I have managed to understand, I guess we're supposed to wait here. Waiting for someone to come. What can you tell me about this part of town? It's the only place I've considered myself happy. Or at least that's what I believe. Unfortunately, it's time to leave. Why is that? Because I'm not feeling happy here anymore. Are you? No, I'm not. Good for you. It's a good thing to have a clear idea of where you stand concerning crucial questions. Don't you think? What can you tell me about your brother? He's older than me, I think. But the important thing is that I really hope I'll die before him. Grief would just kill me, you know? Is that all? Pericles is very attached to this city, and without my insistence, he would never leave this place. We don't often agree on anything, you see? Who are you waiting for, exactly? The more I think about it, the more I believe it's not exactly a person we are waiting for. But what else could it be, then? I don't know. A feeling? An event? An impulse? How can I tell? Something that would allow us to leave this trap. I'm afraid I'm not following you. What kind of trap are you talking about? Have you ever felt like life trapped you in a role that does not fit you? That you are not in your place? That sort of trap. Trap? And you think leaving London will free you? At least it will give us the chance to be free. That's more than our present situation. Hope, Doctor. Hope is what truly drives mankind. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? You should ask that question to my brother instead. Personally, I've not seen Aloysius for many years. Goodbye for now, Mr. Baker. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I be of assistance? Dr. Reed? Dr. Reed? Is there anything wrong? No, it's just... Your name sounds familiar. And your face. Have we met before? I think I would remember. So I suppose the answer is no. That's odd. I'm certain I've already heard of you. My name is Pericles Baker. Does that mean anything to you? I'm afraid not, sir. But it's a pleasure to meet you anyway. Hmm. The pleasure is mine, I guess. I only wish I could remember when it was that we met. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Baker. What are you doing out here in the middle of the night? We are waiting. Waiting for someone. And why are you waiting for this person? Because we need to leave this city. As soon as possible. Why do you want to leave the city? I'm not really sure. Can you tell me anything about this district? As you like asking questions so much, would you allow me to ask you one first? Please, be my guest. Do you like this city? No, I don't. I don't recognize it anymore. Or perhaps I just don't like it anymore, now that I've seen its true face. I don't recognize it either. Or at least what it's become. Hate, violence, social disparity. And I am not talking about the criminality these days. 
And what do you do, sir? For a living, that is. I stopped working when I decided to leave. When I realized what I wanted. I wanted something this city can't provide. But what were you doing before you took this decision? Does it really matter anymore? Considering the past seems so pointless to me. I have lived in this city all my life. And now I think it's over. Tell me more about why you want to leave London, then. I just don't belong here anymore. I had to convince my brother to leave London because I know we need to find another life out of the city. Pericles, tell me why your brother disagrees with your presence here. Agamemnon is naive sometimes. Although don't consider him a fool, sir. He is often more lucid than me. At least you both have the same difficulty explaining what you're doing, and for what reason. But is that not a common problem for all mortals? What can you tell me about your brother? If you are searching for a pleasant chat, you should speak with him instead of wasting your time with me. He has always been the more gentle of us. That's it? That's all you can tell me about him? For the time being, true kindness is the most valuable quality, my good sir. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? I've heard this is a man who has searched for his place in the world for a long time. I hope he found it. Goodbye, Mr. Baker. Hello again. Goodbye for now, Mr. Baker. There is something strange and incoherent about everything. So much violence around us, but still...
We should be far from town already. All right. But where would we go? Anywhere. Anywhere that isn't here. And what is that, by the way? A safer place? A less strange place? And where would that be? Life is strange. And we are alive. For now, yes. But for how long? If we decided to flee, we should be far from town already. All right. But where would we go? Seems violence and madness are now going to take it. Good evening, Miss Price. I'm Dr. Reed. Do you remember me? Dr. Reed? Yes, of course. You are the doctor who healed me and my mum. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Good to see you too, Carol. Are you all right? Oh, yes. I, I did not hurt myself recently. I know how to take care of myself now. I'm almost a grown-up. Why are you awake at night, Carol? I am helping my mother in her shop. It's not easy, but I'm a grown-up now. I'm sure your mother is grateful for your help. I do the best I can. But I'm so clumsy sometimes. I, I, I drop things. I injure myself. It's a, it's a good thing my mother has the patience of an angel. Why is work not easy? Is something or someone bothering you? Oh no, most people are gentle with me. But, but I'm so nervous sometimes. I, I pay no attention and hurt myself. Good thing my mum learned first aid. What can you tell me of the people living nearby? I don't speak to many people, except our customers. It's not easy to make friends. And with the epidemic, it's even more difficult. What can you tell me about the epidemic? Some of our regular customers have left London. Some others only send their housemaids now. Everybody fears the contagion. I've even seen men with weapons. Have you no friends at all? No. 
Mr. Nithicut used to pass by and was always nice to me. Does he not come by anymore? No. Mum said he was weird. Always reciting poetry about a girl he'd met in Whitechapel. I wonder who this Camellia may be. Have you ever met the famous Aloysius Dawson? Yes. A very strange man. Not very nice. What do you mean? He said he was ready to pay good money for rare books. And then laughed at what we showed him. Goodbye, Carol. Good morning. Oh, it's good locked. Evening,
You should return to a safe... Thank you for your... Goodbye. Any sign? Good evening. Can you read the card? Put the money on the table. That here is the the mother, a suffering soul, ashamed of her silence, terrified to raise her voice, a son to be killed. Goodbye, sir. I read and the Empress again. What are the cards trying to tell us?
Stay back, sir. Dawson's mansion. Here I am at last. But the question remains. Am I ready to make a dying man my progeny?
Reduced in rank for falsely accusing a man of murder. I wonder what Inspector Albright thinks about his punishment. It's locked, all right. Finally, you're here, Dr. Reed. What took you so long? I had to pass several of your barricades and outposts to access your mansion, sir. Death, pestilence surround us, and time is against me. I see you've gathered some of the most expensive, albeit experimental, blood transfusion equipment available. All this could be so useful in a hospital. Yes, yes. Since Lord Redgrave sent me a doctor to perform my conversion, I thought you might find some of these devices useful. Most thoughtful. But tonight I'm not here as a physician. But I feel reassured that a specialist such as yourself would help me to escape the Reaper. Very well. But before I proceed, I have a few questions. If you must, but be quick, for I don't have much time left in this life. First of all, I need to be sure that you know exactly what is going to happen to you, sir. I can assure you I'm as informed as any man can be. I have planned for this moment, Dr. Reed. Planned very carefully. Believe me, there is a huge difference between reading about vampires and waking up as one. I learned that myself the hard way. Oh my god, man! Stop your whining! I don't have time for your pointless jibber-jabber. I will become your maker. Do you understand what that means? Well, I certainly won't consider you my liege or some such drivel. You can be assured of that. You'll need to feed on warm blood. Blood from mortals. How do you feel about that? I'm rich, Dr. Reed, and powerful. I'm sure I'll be able to acquire all the blood I need without ever having to sully my own hands. What do you know about the Guard of Prewen? What I do know is that I'll crush anyone or anything that would dare to oppose me. Let's move on, then. Please, I'm cold and tired. I feel my life waning with every moment. But first, before you embrace immortality, what would you do with such a gift? That's a rather impertinent question, Dr. Reed. And I will do as I please. Answer me all the same. What will your first action be as an immortal? To save London. I will finance the most efficient quarantine ever seen. I will build a wall that will separate the sick boroughs from the healthy ones. Who gave you the right to decide the fate of thousands of people? My money. My money and my pending immortality gives me the needed authority, Doctor. I'm a businessman. I'm used to tough decisions. You really plan to build a quarantine wall across London? Yes. It will be tall and strong, separating the wheat from the chaff. By doing so, you will also create two separate prisons. Come, sir. An eminent doctor like yourself knows that such radical measures have proved efficient in the past. Let me guess. You mean to isolate the rich from the poor. 
This is a desperate measure for desperate times. England must prevail, Doctor, no matter the cost. Quarantine is not a bad idea, medically speaking. But I'm convinced this epidemic will not be contained by mere walls. As long as the right people are on the right side of the wall, that's all that matters. What if a new outbreak happens inside your walls? You'll have created a giant trap. That won't happen. As long as we dispose of anyone that is contaminated as soon as they are spotted. But you can't guarantee infection will not spread. Just one contagious carrier would be enough to create an apocalypse. The apocalypse is already knocking at the gate. We must be strong now. I've heard enough. It's time to proceed. At last. All right, do what you have to do. If it hurts, so be it. I've been preparing such a long time for this. Listen to me, Aloysius Dawson. You will forget your fear of dying, for it has poisoned your mind and made you bitter and ruthless since the death of your twin brother. You don't understand. Death is oblivion, the eternal void. I know there's nothing there. I saw it in Robert's empty eyes. I saw myself in that coffin. Death is painful for those who remain, not for those who have passed. All that occult gibberish you filled your head with has made you forget this simple truth. No! Death will not claim me. I have the power and the money. I've acquired the arcane knowledge needed. I believe there is magic. There are dark forces. You will provide me my extension. Your ignorance makes you a fool. You have no idea. Look at me. Hunted like a beast. My family lost. Cursed. I have not escaped death. I have become it. No! There must be a way! I don't want to go like my brother did. I have money. Lots of money. Money won't ease your mind. I know you used to be a good and generous man. So I offer you the gift of peace, Aloysius. The tranquility of a true death. I accept your offer. And I understand. No more fear I will die a man of dignity and a man at peace. It's locked. It's locked, all right. Is it done, Dr. Reed? Is Aloysius Dawson reborn as expected? I'm afraid Mr. Dawson finally chose to embrace life and death as a mortal. What do you mean? He has overcome his fear of dying. I let him rest and wait for death to come. What? This is unacceptable. Go back there and make him the powerful Econ he's destined to be. No, Lord Redgrave. As a doctor and as an immortal, I can't. If you wish to make him your progeny, then proceed on your own. This is an outrage beyond words. This is betrayal, pure and simple. I should kill you on the spot. 
You swore on William Marshall's blood. Well, get rid of me then. From now on, you're an outcast. Banished. You are forbidden to ever appear in front of us again. Ascalon will smite you on sight, and your heart will be thrown to the rats. I'll leave you then. Have fun with your puppets and shadow plays, Lord Redgrave. Yes, go, traitor. And take that awful creature, that counterfeit of a woman I saw waiting for you, and be gone! Step away, traitor. Return to your dubious friends and your decrepit hospital. Do not dare show yourself again, you or that monstrosity you bring to my door. We meet again at the strangest of times, young Ekon. So do you serve the Earl of Bristol now? Old Bridget? What are you doing here? Your friend, the wise Ekon. She sent me to warn you. Did anyone see you? It's a long way from the dock sewers, and hunters are patrolling the streets here. Who said I took the streets? How do you think I survived for centuries in this city without ever being seen? I know all her secrets. How did you meet Lady Ashbury? She came to us in the sewers in search of answers. Just as you did. What kind of answers did you give her? I knew nothing of your maker, but we talked. We talked a lot. Her words and ideas are captivating. It is no surprise that you like her. I like her too. Lady Ashbury in the sewers? Now that's a sight I wish I'd seen. She said she was your friend, and that she sought the identity of your maker. So I answered her questions. Lady Ashbury? You know her? Tell me what's going on. The lady approached me but a few nights ago, wanting to meet the Sewer Skulls. Once she questioned Harriet Jones, she agreed to help us. Harriet Jones is still with you then? How is she doing? Harriet remains angry, but is recovering slowly. Her mind is twisted, but at least her body is healing. Tell me what is going on. The lady asked us to keep an eye on your mortal doctor friend while you were away. We spotted the hunters. They were discussing plans to attack tonight. Wait! Slow down! I need to ask you something. I'm listening, but I do not have time to waste, so be quick. Where is Lady Ashbury right now? She said she will go home. She needed to speak with some old friends first, though. Do not worry, young Ekon. She is no fool, and just as strong as you. How did Elizabeth find you? She presented herself humbly at our gate, and asked if we knew of any ancestral vampires hiding in London. She asked about Ascalon. She asked about many things. What do you think of her? Her soul is good, yet tainted with a deep sadness and the scars of ancient wounds. Time does that to us immortals, for we have so much to dwell upon. Why did she come to you? I am old Bridget, the buried memory of the city. She sought the silent truths, truths I have kept hidden for so long. Why do I feel like Lord Redgrave was particularly irritated to see you? Far more so than the average Skull, if I may say. 
Because I used to know him quite well. And he is afraid I may remember who he really is. You're Elizabeth's informant. You're the one who told her about Lord Redgrave's lies regarding his lineage. Yes, but my words were not meant to hurt or threaten. I simply told the story of the Sewer Skulls, and of so many other forgotten children. No time to lose, then. I must go there right away. I shall return to my den. Have you a message for the lady? Should I see her before you? Tell her I worry about her. Do not, for she has had strength and wisdom for so much longer than you. Go now and take care, young Ekon, for the flames are rising. <laughs>